For today's lesson, we're going to look at how to simplify expressions. And we know from the past that expressions are mathematical problems that we usually have a variable. Remember, a variable is when we have a letter in place of a number. But before we can start simplifying expressions, we have to go over some terms that we find inside of an expression. Now, if you notice, this expression has addition in two places. So any of the numbers that are being used in the expression, we call them terms. So I'm going to write the word term up here, T-E-R-M. And I'm going to draw arrows down to all of the terms. And remember, terms are the numbers that are being added together in the expression. So my first one is there, 4. It's being added to 7x, so the 7 is a term. And then down here, the last number to be added is 1, so 1 is also a term. Now the next thing we're going to look at are something that's called coefficients. Now coefficients are the numbers that are being multiplied, and we can see that they're next to our variables x. Does not have an x, this one does, and this one does, because it's the same as saying 4 times x. And over here, this is the same as saying 7 times x. So I'm going to identify the 4 and the 7 as coefficients. I'm going to use a different colored marker to make them stick out. And I'm going to label them as coefficients. So 4 and 7 have been identified as coefficients because they're being used in a multiplication problem. Now, if I look at the variables x and x, they're similar. They look like each other. 4 has an x, 7 has an x. So now I'm going to identify them as something else that are called like terms. Since they both have an x, they look alike, which means they're going to be called like terms. I'm going to use a different color to identify the like terms. There we go. Now finally we have one number left over. That was our 1. And our 1 gets identified with a special term too. And we call this a constant term. And a constant term is a number inside of an expression that does not have a variable next to it. So my final ID will be on the constant term. So now there's my expression one more time. 4x plus 7x plus 1. And if I, I've identified everything within the expression. Here are my terms because they're all being added together. My coefficients are 4x and 7x because they're being multiplied by a variable. My like terms are 4x and 7x because they look alike. They both have the variable x. And my constant term is 1 because it has no variable next to it. It's constant and it won't change. In our next step to evaluate expressions, what I want to do is take my expression and rewrite it as a sum. And now we know from before that a sum is the answer that you get when you do addition problems. So, if I write this as a sum, I've got to turn it into one big addition problem. And if I look at this right now, I already have minus 2x and minus 10. So we're just going to make some simple changes to this expression to rewrite it as a sum. Now we start off with x plus 4, which is great. It already has addition, so I'm not going to change that. I'm just going to rewrite that part now. x plus 4. We leave it alone. Now here's where I want to make my first change, because it's 4 minus 2x. Well, I can turn this into an addition problem if I add the opposite of 2x. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to add the opposite of 2x, which is a negative 2x. So I'm going to put parentheses in so I don't get confused and make this 2x. Close my parentheses. Now one more time, I have subtraction again. I need to make it an addition part, so I'm going to make an addition sign, and I'm going to add the opposite of 10, which is 
negative 10. And now I've taken my original expression and I've rewritten it as an sum.